Okay guys, hi, my name is Taylor and I'm from NetBeansTutorials.com and in this video I'll show you guys how to use a bit of error handling to prevent your code from crashing when a user gives incorrect input. In this video we're going to prompt the user for a number, then we're going to do math with it and print the answer. And any code without the try catch on this sort of code would um, cause our program to crash. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to prevent it from ca crashing, how to use try catch effectively. Okay, so let's dive right into it. In order to um, prompt the user for input, we have to import the necessary tools, which is the J option pane. So type import javax.swing.j option pane. Alrighty. And then we're going to go right into our main method. And uh, on this line of code, I am going to get user input and save it to a variable. So we're going to type string user input equals J option pane dot show input dialog. What would you like to multiply by 2? Okay, and then now you may have noticed that I type string here. That's because it can only save the, whatever is given as a string from the J option pane show input dialog box. So uh, we're actually going to convert that to a double so we can do math with it. And we do that by using the parse double. So we're going to type double user input double equals double dot parse double user input. Okay. And now again, what that's going to do is it's actually going to take our string and parse it for a double and then save it as user input, input, user input double. Okay. And then we're going to need to um, do some math with it. Okay, user input double equals user input double times two. And then we're going to print the answer to the screen. Alrighty, and then that's going to print our answer to the screen. Alrighty, and now we're going to run it and see what happens. Let's see if it works. What would you like to multiply it by? 2, 3, and you get 6. Alright, and then if I were to run it again, but this time I type a letter A, it just immediately crashes. So we're going to do some error handling here. We're going to type try. And then we're going to do catch. And then the type of error that would be received would be a number format exception. So we're going to do number format exception. So at the end of this code, if it immediately crashes, it's going to go right to this catch. And then it's going to say, yes, I did crash because of a number format exception. How did you know? and then it's going to read and do whatever's in this method here. So, it's going to type we're going to do it's going to do whatever we tell it to right here and we're going to tell the user, "Hey man, you're an idiot." And put a number. No. That wasn't a number and you know it. Sir. Try that that shit again. Alrighty, fantastic. Let's see if it works. Run file. Alrighty, A. Hey. That wasn't a number and you know it, sir. Try that shit again. Alright. Hey guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments either here or on my site at netbeanstutorials.com. Hope you learned something.